hello friends my name is Amul and in this video I'm going to introduce cPanel to you so this is going to be very brief and short introduction to get you started with cPanel so suppose you've already purchased uh, a hosting package website hosting package and you want to launch your website or a blog so what do you need to do initially when you do launch or or upload your website so there are a few things you must keep on mind so first thing let's how you can upload your website or launch a WordPress website or Joomla Magento whatever it is so to upload your website you simply go to files and look for the file manager you can also look for file manager from the find sec section or search section you simply type file manager and you'll get this file manager click it uh, choose the domain name and go to file manager so here you can simply upload click on upload this opens a new page browse browse the pages you have to upload um, and then go to home yeah so let me go ahead and close this too so we are done with how to upload a web page or a website if you have to do it otherwise you can simply go ahead and uh, launch your website using any of the CMS so here we are so uh, to get to this WordPress or Joomla or Magento or whatever CMS you want to use Drupal you can look for the particular CMS from here or you simply go down to the bottom and you'll get soft uh, soft Aculus apps installer so this is name of this uh, installer on name chips or uh, cpanel but this could be different on your so look for this um, let's go and try with this wordpress so click on wordpress and this takes to you this takes you to this here uh, on the wordpress panel and now you have to launch it so simply click on install so you have to install the WordPress click on install choose your theme here down on the bottom okay so once you click on install then you'll get the option to choose theme choose your theme and if you do not choose you will get this default one which you have here you can check a lot of things here so features overview install so if you click install this is going to install every wordpress on your server now let's go back the second thing you must do is set up your email account for your business or for your website so you go to you go to the mail section and look for webmail I'm sorry or you can simply look for web mail and you'll get this web mail here so click on that web mail link here and this gives you an introduction how you can set up your email account on your for your business and on your servers to check web mail for an account login to yeah with your full username so if you click here this is going to ask you to set up your email account look for a username create your password choose your webmail client and then launch it and once you have set up check if you can receive email and send email if you cannot receive or send email simply contact the support they will help you do this alright so the third thing you might do after uh, launching or purchasing hosting service is 
you can um, set up your database so you simply go to this database and choose one of the uh, familiar or the services the databases you can use or want to use and then set up your database the third thing you might do use is add another domain to the server or to the hosting package so you can click on this add domains add on domains name and then uh, new domain name so you have to type in domain name and everything and create a password uh, password and you would be able to add the other domain to your same hosting account few things you you must do regularly is like scanning your website so you get a tool to scan a scanner a secu uh, virus scanner so you see you got virus scanner click on this and so go one by one click on scan mail so this is going to check the mail no virus found okay then look for the entire home directory click scan and this is going to take a bit longer depending on the size of the home directory you may have no virus found so this must be done you know regularly on 15 days or uh, months uh, once a month okay so this is done now you can go back to the home directory click home this is going to take you to the home there are a few things getting started wizard you can um, if you are not very much familiar or confused at the time when you log into your cPanel you can look for these tutorials getting started wizard and if you want to change password you can change the password because you get a default password when you purchase a hosting package update your contact information change the style of the cPanel you can certainly do that change language to your preference sorry and this is almost the basic thing to get you started on cPanel so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe and leave your comment below if you have any question and thank you so much again for watching this video please like share and subscribe once again and goodbye for now take care people